Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jazby's nine box high-end football mixer featuring a couple nice Josh Allen giveaways. We'll do that at the end of the uh, the video right there. But first, yeah, there, there's how we're gonna do it. Name on top's gonna get the RPA, second name's gonna get the White Prism BGS 9.5. Some nice value with those two right there. And some great boxes here as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. Congrats to the people who won their spots in the filler. All 32 teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams three and a two five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Chad Tucker down to Michael H. Three and a two five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, we got the ATL. We now have a new quarterback and the Saints. We'll we'll talk all about the about the moves during the break itself. A lot to lot to cover. All right, so Chad with the Falcons, Garrett, you got the Colts, Donnie with the Patriots, Hans with the Cardinals, John, Packers, Vikings, Chargers, Broncos, Allen with the Ravens, Joe with the Jaguars and Buccaneers. Chad Tucker with the Commanders, Matt with the Lions, Arthur with the Giants, Barry with the Dolphins, John with the Bills, Titans and Bengals, Barry with the Eagles, John with the Panthers, Hans with the Niners, John with the Bears, Matt with the Jets, Nicole with my Raiders, John with the Cowboys, Garrett, Seahawks, Matt, Chiefs, Christopher, Texans, Scott with the Browns, Hans, Rams, Matt, Steelers, and Michael with the New Orleans Saints. All right, so let's get all this on one page. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video for a little bit while I set up the boxes on here, get a little more hydration, give you guys some time to trade. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side of the trade window. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so the, uh, the list remains the same here on Monday the 11th, a Monster Monday. Hopefully we can pull some monsters out of here. We're giving away some monsters. That qualifies. We'll do that randomizer at the end. So let's kind of get some of the, uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get some of the base heavier stuff, not too much of that, but let's get some of the base heavier stuff out of the way first. And then we'll move on towards the back, towards like the one card stuff. We'll close with that Hip Parade Football Emerald Edition. It'll be a nice way to end the break. So there's some great potential for a big hit within the mixer itself and then those Josh Allens. A lot of, uh, lot of free age, football free agent frenzy this uh, today, ladies and gentlemen. The, Free agent window had opened up, so I mean, can I can we even keep track of uh, keep track of everything that's been happening here? I mean, Kirk Cousins to sign with the Falcons. Panthers traded Burns to the Giants. Eagles got Saquon Barkley. My Raiders added. Uh, Defensive tackle Christian Wilkins, which improves that uh, pretty solid defensive line. Bengals to cut Joe Mixon and sign Zach Moss. Packers released Aaron Jones. Vikings signed outside linebacker Jonathan Grenard. Colts, Michael Pittman finalizing a deal. Kirk Cousins, Sam Darnold apparently is joining the Vikings. Wow. Darnold will rejoin his former teammate, new Vikings QB's coach Josh McCown in Minnesota. Ian Rappaport and Tom Pelissero from the NFL Network reporting that the recent 49ers will uh, quarterback will sign a one-year deal worth ten million dollars. Looks like the Vikings appear to be now the Broncos and Commanders for the services of the f number three overall pick. So that's a starter opportunity. Wow. Baker Mayfield is going to, uh, re he re-signed with the Buccaneers. Kirk Cousins signing with the Falcons, right? That was a huge bit of news. What else? What, are, what, other, what other big bits of news were there? 
Jets signing Terod Taylor, probably a backup. Titans signing linebacker Kenneth Murray. Etc., etc., etc. Guards being signed up, being snapped up and given big bits of money. Browns are looking at what Jameis Winston maybe as a backup, something like that. Right, my guy, my Josh Jacobs for my Raiders, going to Green Bay, thus precipitating the Aaron Jones cut. I think the the Raiders and here's Jamar Chase to 99, and here's Jalen Tolbert, rookie jersey and auto. I think my Raiders really and Josh Jacobs I think really wanted to stay with, uh, you know, stay with each other, you know, stay together. But it kind of felt like just they could. I think they must have worked at it to kind of get closer and closer on money and years. But I think ultimately that didn't really work out. Uh, John with the Dallas Cowboys. John also has the Bengals. Yeah. We're we're I don't know. Were the Falcons in on a? It's Dylan Parham, 132 out of 149 for my Raiders. I wonder if if Lamar wasn't ever going to take that deal in the first place. And he was always going back to the Ravens. That's what it feels like. Sixty-six out of seventy-five, AJ Brown. I suppose everyone has a number, right? This will go to the Eagles, Barry. Maybe they offered maybe a little bit under that two hundred million dollars, in hopes that maybe Desmond Ritter would. Uh, there's Desmond Ritter in hopes that he would actually kind of take the job. It's Khalil Mack. And once he realized that he wasn't the guy, they were kind of like, oh, we better go get a proper quarterback. I guess her cousins is going to be healthy, so. There's a mod sauce Gardner, 34 out of 75. Rookie jersey and autograph. Nice one for the defensive rookie of the year going to Matt and the Jets. I don't know. Duncan, desperation, especially in the quarterback position, will make you do crazy things, will make a team do crazy things. There's Saquon Barkley to 199. Arthur and the Giants. Saquon will be running behind the best offensive line that he has personally seen. There's Brian Cook. Trevor Lawrence has a backup now. Mac Jones. Damian Pierce to 149. Didn't Damian Pierce go somewhere? Am I thinking of who am I thinking of? Maybe it wasn't Damian Pierce. I thought a Texas Texans running back went somewhere. All right, so that was the uh, that was the first box. Let's go. This contenders kind of has a lot of cards here. Right, Devin Singletary to the Giants. I think that happened quickly after Saquon. It's first off the line as well. I'm looking for five autographs here. First off the line should have those those red zone. I think if I'm not if I remember correctly, the red zone parallels. Bucks bringing back Chase Edmonds, Texan Sarisa, Nor Noah Brown, Yader Gross Matos with the Niners now. These are all sort of smaller moves. But yeah, very active, uh, active window here. Commanders are signing Austin Eckler. There you go. It looks like the Giants are signing offensive lineman Jermaine Illuminor, formerly for my Raiders. He's been okay.
think they were hoping that he would improve a little bit more, but, but no, it'll be an upgrade for the Giants for sure. Raiders looking for upgrades there. They wanna they wanna have a good offensive line. You, nothing Saints wise, not, nothing significant anyway. I'm just kind of scrolling through some headlines here. Saints is Marcus Davenport went to the Lions though. Some linebackers being signed places, blah, 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 blah. Browns re-signing Zadarius Smith and Mo Hurst. Commander signing linebackers, defensive tackles. Chargers adding Will Disley to the team. Wouzier to somewhere, to the Titans. Devin Duvernay signed by the Jaguars. Raiders got Minshew. Gus Edwards going to the Chargers. Yeah, I mean, nothing. Devontae, Patriots re released Devontae Parker for whatever that's worth. Yeah, a lot of kind of smaller deals or a lot of teams kind of getting some, some decent depth with some players on the defensive side of things, but. Wow, that would be a, that, that would be a good place to go. Duncan saying Derrick Henry to the Ravens. I feel like Derrick Henry would behind the sort of running identity of the team, the offensive line that he has, that he would have there. I feel like that would be a great spot for Derrick Henry. All right, we got our first autograph, Cracked Ice, Leo Chanel, 14 out of 22. Rookie auto for the Chiefs, that'll be for Matt. And we got Malcolm Rodriguez, rookie ticket auto. For the Lions, Matt Lieber. And this is uh, 2022 first off the line. Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Kenneth Walker, Kenny Pickett, Malik Willis, Sauce Gardner uh, on the front of the box, if that jogs your memory a little bit. We got, uh, I, I like this card. You can see the uh, the rookie logo hologram back there. That's Brandon Smith. That autograph will go to John and Dallas. So here are our three contenders autographs. We should be expecting a couple more. And there, hey, speaking of Chris Olave, nice. That's the one you want. It's the red parallel on-card autograph of a dynamic rookie receiver. That's going to go to Michael Hickey and the Nolens Saints. Congrats. It's a sharp-looking card. Nice auto. And there's, there's a parallel version of this one too. That's Najee Harris. That's going to go to the Steelers. Steelers getting Russell Wilson for the veteran minimum, I think. 1.2. Not bad. And there's Chase Garbers. So we have one, two, three, four. And there's our fifth autograph. Nicole with the Raiders. And a bonus auto, Nick Muse. I was like, that's flipped around. Is that going to be a bonus? It is. John with the Vikings. Looks like the Vikings are going to have Sam Darnold now. They might still draft a quarterback, though. Same with my Raiders. I'm certain my Raiders are going to sign 
a quarterback as well. But hopefully having Minshew means that they're not going to reach for a, or don't feel like they have to reach for a top three pick. It's going to be hard for them to move up from 13 to within inside the three. A lot of uh, GM gymnastics. Yeah, the Broncos are on the hook for a chunk of money, but they and there'll still be cap implications for the remainder of his contract. But I think it's the, that cap hit, you know, is far is far less. I want to say, and you know, and you're pulling the band, you're ripping the bandaid off too. What a mess that situation was. Uh, you know, obviously it was before the Sean Payton regime, but still. All right, there's Chris Olave to 100, and we have Jared uh, Jaden Reed. That is triple relic and autograph. We'll have a new teammate, Josh Jacobs, this year. Packers, John. C.D. Lamb, Tony Pollard, Team Tandem. That'll be for John and the boys, the Cowboys. Austin Eckler's on a new team now. Joe Mixon was cut. Could the Raiders pick up a uh, Joe Mixon? I think the Raiders could use a little depth at running back without Josh Jacobs. I think they're going to be happy to roll with uh, with Zamir White, though. The, the form that you may remember him from the, his Georgia days. I want to say he had a really nice national championship game. All right, we got a piece of the glove. Nice. That's Rasheed Rice, seventy-four out of one ninety-nine. Chiefs. It's going to go to Matt. We got Joe Burrow. We got a rock out, Odell Beckham Jr. to 50. Ravens, that'll be for Alan Murdoch. We've got the uh, Demario Douglas is 275. And Rashad White. We got 47 out of 299. Tyron Smith, John, and the Cowboys. Piece of the relic. Pro Bowl relic there. Got Davis Mills, Christian Kirk, and the auto is Chase Brown, 85 out of 100. Rookie auto for the Bengals. Is T. Higgins demanding a trade? Did I hear that somewhere? I feel like I've. I've just come across so much information, I'm not sure. Out of 75, there's DJ Moore for the Bears. That'll be for John. DJ Moore might have a different quarterback throwing things to him. Um, let's go with Black. Where did these go? I'm not sure. Right, that's what it was. Thank you, Garrett. Yeah, franchise tag wasn't happy with that. It's not like they can't still work out a deal, though. Here's Quentin Johnston, 42 out of 99. So we'll see. New coach for Quentin Johnston, Harbaugh. He's going to be there. There's some receivers that are that are going to age out, I feel like, or run out of... Keenan Allen only has, what, a year or two left, maybe? We might have to start looking for some, uh, some future receivers here. 38 out of 99, former UCLA quarterback Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Brown, Scott. And then we've got Demario Douglas to 35. 
The redemption is, whoosh, it's Michael Mayer, rookie auto for my Raiders. Good, nice uh, pass catching uh, tight end from Notre Dame, I think, going to Nicole. I think uh, he's been improving his, uh, his blocking as well as the season went on, which was kind of the weak spot for him, but seemed to be getting better and better at it with each game, which meant... You know, which, which meant uh, means more snaps for him, more opportunities for him to make some plays consequently as well. All right, Spectra Football 2023 edition. I haven't seen much of these. What's going on here? Oh, I got caught on the lip of that box. Yeah, Gus Edward did go from one Harbaugh to the other. Maybe got, I mean, maybe got some good references. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Let's uh, let's just pop a blank card right there and let's fire through these. We got Stetson Bennett. We got uh, 16 out of 99, Nduike Alzuma. Pulsar Parallel. We got Trevor Lawrence, 52 out of 60. Two color triple relic as a new backup. Mac Jones. So the top loader is. The penny sleeve is a little wrinkly. Should fit into a 120 kind of perfectly, but. All right, that's good. 15 out of 16. Spread out the wrinkles a little bit in the penny sleeve. There you go. Jaguars, Joe Cook. And nice. Is that a bit of a laundry tag, size tag? Cedric Tillman. Four out of four. That's a train whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Goodman with the Browns. Scott. Three, four. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Four out of four. Four, four time. Common time, as they say. There's rookie Aura Jackson Smith and Jigba to 50. Wow. Seahawks, that's for Garrett. We got a Saquon Barkley, New Eagle, 10 out of 10. Best offensive line he's going to see in his career joining that team. Giants, Big Blue, the G-Men, Arthur. Maybe there'll be a market for, uh, for Eagles fans. I'd be excited to see him. 9 out of 15, Michael Mayer. Nice silver and black patch. The Raiders. Make sure you take a picture of that part. Yeah, definitely gotta take a picture of that Michael Mayer, future Hall of Fame tight end. Does Dis one person get both of these? Disrespectful. No, the per Two people, two winners. Okay. Name on top gets the RPA. Second name will get the silver, or the white prism. Pretty nice giveaway. All right, we're back on track with the supplies here. Should have reloaded the soap. Supplies during some downtime. All right. Who has the Raiders again? That's for Nicole with the Raiders. We got this tank right here. Tank Dell. Two-color patch and autograph. Looked, looked good while he was healthy. Christopher with the Texans. 
Yeah, I do like the Spectra. We got Spectra half case brakes in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBrakes.com. ABC, always be closing. Always be closing. Um, one of them, the first half is in a random, a few different random number blocks. If you want to take a look at that, we can finish that off. 27 out of 50, Jalen Hyatt die cut. Giants, that's going to be for Arthur. We got another one for the Big Hits channel, Rising Rookies, Trey Tucker. Speed Demon, it's going to look like Tyree Kill next year. 48 out of 75. Although my Max Christie All-Star prediction did not. William Perry. Nice, old school auto for John and Da Bears. Third spot, yes, we'll get Michael's jacket. Michael, who makes this nice jacket here? Travis Matthews. Travis, wow, that is a nice one. Wow, what size is it? It's a uh, XL. How much hey. was the spot in this break? Um, it was uh, two hundred dollars a spot. Yeah, so this jacket almost. Yeah, I was gonna say spot. that's yeah. All right, it's a nice black color. Right? How how what what season is it? How old is it? Uh, probably a year old. Oh, that's not that bad. It's game used. Game used. I mean, even in the secondary market, it'd still probably be a hundred dollar jacket. With the way Travis Matthews sell, resells. You don't, you don't see game used never really that, that often. <laughs> That's anymore. true. It's maybe it's $300. 49 out of 75, Jaden Reed. Wait, what size again? XL. XL. There you go. Break used, yeah. Jake Hainers, 28, 78 out of 99. Piece of the jersey going to the Saints. That'll be for Michael H. What? Where would he sign? We'd have to get a silver ink. Do that. And the last one here is Sean Clifford. Two color patch and autograph for Green Bay. John. They're saying he's going to start over Jordan Love. Uh, Sean, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Jaspi has heard from his sources that he's going to start over Jordan Love. 2022 limited. We're going to go back a year. And we'll go Panini 1. Then we'll go Football Legends Graded Vintage Edition. And then we'll close with Hit Parade Emerald. And then we'll give away those Josh Allens. <laughs> Duncan saying who? Michael's fake sources are saying that. Duncan. The, the sources in Michael's head. The voices in his head say that. 102 out of 125, Travis Kelsey. That'll be for the Chiefs. We got limited edition rookie Percy Butler. And we got a Hassan Haskin, 33 out of 99. Piece of the jersey going to John and the Titans. And Saquon Barkley. So is the hit right there? Where is the? Oh, I think it is right there. Rodgers, Goff, and uh, Higgins. And behind Mike Williams is DeMarvin Leal. 10 out of 49. Rookie autograph going to the Steelers. That'll be for Matt. Devonta Smith, I saved the Desmond, although maybe it doesn't matter anymore. 50 out of 75, two color jersey and autograph for Chad and the ATL. That is Last Spot Mojo. It, it, should we crank it up to 75% of the time? Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time and in a group break that has that, you know, at least five or more boxes? I would say so. All right, so there you go, Chad. I don't know. Maybe maybe he'll just marinate behind Kirk Cousins and, and emerge like a like a Jordan Love. You never know. Wow, there's the breaking news. Jordan Love traded to the Ra Raiders fan would love that if that were true. All right. Here it, whoa, wow. Rookie, jersey, and autograph, Justin Fields. Where is he gonna go? I don't know, nine out of 30. John with the Bears, this is a keeper. It's gonna happen. 
Can't believe that. Out of all the individual boxes of this stuff we have laying around, he's like, we just have like a small stack of a few loose boxes. Where does he go? Does he get traded? Does he stay with the Bears? Someone was saying earlier that the Bears were going to take Marvin Harrison Jr. and keep Justin Fields. And then get offensive line with their next first round pick or something like that. Should actually... That might actually be the way to go. Well, I suppose they can still... They can still draft Justin Fields and then keep. Still keep him. And Caleb. Does he want to stay? I don't know. I haven't talked to him lately, Duncan. But in some public statements that he has made, he just wants his whole process to be over. He's like, will, will, he, will I stay? Won't I stay? He just, which is understandable. It's Drew Person. Old, uh, old Dallas Cowboy. PSA 8. Nice. Cowboys legend going to John Jackson. All right, now let's see what we're going to close out with with this Emerald Edition. Yeah, I'll text Justin and he'll be like, yo, so you want to stay or not? What do you want to do? I'm sure he wants to stay. That's the only place he knows, right? Wow. More breaking news. Caleb Williams is not entering draft to pursue career and acting commercials. And then Justin Field signs a 10-year, $600 million extension with the Bears. How I wonder how much is guaranteed. I wonder if this breaking news will let us know how much is guaranteed. We've got a thick one here. It's a book. Book it. Whoa! Stefan Diggs. Rookie auto book. 35 out of 49. Wow, that looks nice. Some nice color. There's the autograph from Playbook, old Playbook set. That's going to go to John Jackson and the Minnesota Vikings. Congrats on that one. There you go. Nice rookie auto book. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Really nice break. Now, let's see who's going to win these cards here. We're gonna randomize everybody's names. Name on top is gonna to get this one. Very nice. And second spot will get this one. Third spot may or may not get Michael's uh, Travis Matthew jacket. All right, so let's flip back to the list here. There's everybody's names. Let's gather everybody's names. Hans down to Chad and everyone in between. New dice, new list. Once again, you see right here, number one will win the uh, Panini 1 RPA. Number two will win the White Prism. Uh, both cards are graded for you already. That makes life a little bit easier. And let's roll it and randomize it. One and a six, seven times. Top two after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. This is, they're counting right here, which is jamming me up. Quit it, King's Broadcast. What are we at? We're at five. Now, this commercial jams me up too. They're gonna ruin this song. Stop playing this commercial, Jim Beam. All right, five, six, and seven. So two more times. Six, and good luck, seventh and final time. So after seven, now from three on down, it's going to be sad times. Arthur, apologies. Close, but no cigar. Everyone, thank you. Thank you for giving this a shot. But only the top two can win. The uh, 2018 Select Football, Josh Allen's rookie year, Prism White, BGS 9-5, numbered 11 out of 75, Concourse Edition, is going to go to Scott Goodman. Congrats to you. The Panini 1 RPA is going to go to John Jackson. Congrats. 
After seven, here are your top two. So Scott, you're gonna get this good looking card here. Centering, corners, edges, all a nine. Five, surface a nine. White prism, 11 out of 75. And then John Jackson, there you go. The Josh Allen RPA from Panini, one. 34 out of 49. Nice autograph there. And an SGC 10, uh, 9, 5, 10. The auto is a 10. Bronze parallel. Nice. Good looking set right there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was Jaspie's 9-box high-end football mixer. We've got a couple other great mixers on the site giving away some great cards. So check it out. Grab some spots. And... Um, and I'll break it with you tomorrow. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.